Actually, that water's for you. What's that? That water's for you. Okay. Well, Archie, I guess to start off, happy birthday. How do we plan on celebrating that victory? Um, I'm gonna go get a nice dinner in me. I'm gonna take a shower, obviously, first, and then I'll go get a nice dinner. Um, go out with my team here. Uh, hop on that flight back to Denver and go uh, enjoy my first birthday with my son and my wife. Well, not first with my wife, but first with my son. And you just referenced that you're going back to Denver. How has the training camp been training with Justin Gaethje, Kayla's like Kamara Usume? Uh, it's been great. I was a big part of their camps, um, their prior camps. Obviously, Kamara's camp is in the thick of it right now, so I'll, I missed a couple of weeks here. Um, but it's it's good to be able to train with those guys, learn from those guys, and uh, just grow alongside with uh, people like that. And a last second opponent switch. How stressful is that on you as a fighter? Um, you know, I wasn't really focused on the guys, on the specific people anyways. I was just trying to better myself. I got this call on, I was already in training camp, so I was in shape, I felt good. Um, I actually had a hurt rib when I got the call. Uh, I had torn my rib cartilage, and I hadn't trained for like a week, and then I got the call, and we trained hard and felt fine, so I decided to accept the fight. And when I did that, I went through three different opponents in three weeks. So it was, that wasn't the, the first guy. You know, I had three guys in three weeks. Um, I just bettered myself and continued to stay the course and uh, went out there and did my thing. I know you said you were uh, a round, well-rounded fighter. Uh, you said that in your post-fight interview there. Yeah. Brian Nuro is a guy who's known on the local grappling scene. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised at all that he didn't shoot in for a takedown being such a jiu-jitsu <laughs> guy? No, come on, he couldn't take me down. <laughs> I mean, or yes, he's a very take down. he's a very good jujitsu guy. I was aware of that. He's a good black belt. Um, he had been competing jujitsu for you know these past year or two and in, in just competitions, focusing on that. So I knew he was going to be good in that. But you know, it's just a different realm of of takedown and takedown defense between high level jujitsu guys and high level wrestlers. Now you threw everything but the kitchen sink at him. Were you surprised that he, you didn't get him out of there sooner? Uh, no, I was making mistakes. Even though the, those things were, were uh, my punches, my shots were landing, I was definitely making some mistakes um, in those first two rounds. And uh, when I got back to my corner going into that third, my, my head coach really got on me and, and uh, I corrected those things. I was hitting him with some big shots and then was backing out of the picture, right? And then in the third round, I hit him with some big shots and I continued to follow in and, uh, and eventually just uh, got the job done there. You've had some great wins in your short career. Is this one the most satisfying, just with the short notice, it's your birthday, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that went into this, and you went up there and got another finish in the Bellator cage? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, every, every single one of them is very important, I think, and uh, we'll just go with this one. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm very proud of this one. I'm not playing when, three weeks ago when I got this phone call, I hadn't trained in like a week and a half. I was in good shape. I had been training for months prior to that, but when I got the call, I had a torn cartilage in my rib, and I had to take some time off to rest it. Um, and then when I decided to say, I want to take this fight, my coaches and I decided to say, you know, there is no hurt rib, just throw it to the back of your head and it's after the fight. So that's what I did. I'm proud that I overcame that and pushed through it. Um, never complained about it. And uh, I got to do something that a lot of people don't get to do and, and compete and perform and provide for my family on my birthday. I know this is a fresh win. Do you have any idea when you want to get back in there, have that next one? Because you got a lot of momentum right now. Yeah, um, you know, I, I want to be on a, a card here with my my good friend, my teammate, my brother here, Grant. So I think he's talking about maybe in October or November or something like that. So I would I would ideally like to do that. Also, my body is good. Um, the only reason why I had a four or five month break coming into this fight was because I hurt my hand. So I had to heal that, and I do not have anything hurt at the moment. So. You know, take a week off and relax and enjoy and we'll get back to work. Seems like the MMA career is going all as planned, sort of what you envision. What are some of your short-term goals right now at this stage in your career? Um, I want to get at least another fight in this year, that's for sure. Um, I want to continue just to improve um, my ground game and my, uh, my stand-up. When I say ground game, I'm not talking about my wrestling, really. I'm, I'm mainly talking about my, my jiu-jitsu and uh, my grappling there. Um, and 
yeah, I mean, the, my goals are really just to improve myself. I'm not trying to say like, you know, anything specific to other people or uh, anything at the moment. I just want to continue to uh, get better and that'll be enough. I don't know if you drink or not, but uh, what, what's on the menu tonight as far as uh, post-fight celebrations? What are you going to be getting at the bar tonight? Um, I'll take a, a tequila shot and uh, we'll get a Modelo or a or Corona. Thanks for the time. Yes, sir. Thank you. He already answered the question. Thank you. We will now take questions from the Zoom. Jay, go ahead. Hey, Archie, this is James with ASAP Sports. How you doing? I'm doing great, sir. How are you? I'm doing good. Happy birthday, man. Um, I know it probably feels good getting a win like that in that type of fashion, uh, on pay-per-view and that type of audience. And how are you feeling after that? I feel great. First of all, thank you for the birthday wish. Um, I feel great. You know, it was a little mixed emotion today. I woke up and I was getting some texts from people saying good luck tonight, some texts saying happy birthday. And obviously there's both with people saying both in the text message. And, you know, I was just trying to say, uh, stay focused and you know when I talked to my coaches here I didn't want them to tell me happy birthday one of them told me he's not gonna say happy birthday till about 4 30 uh, first just got my, my happy birthday from him like 30 minutes no not like five minutes ago sorry and uh, my wife called me today and said happy birthday I was like it's not my birthday till about 4 30 so it feels good to finally like uh, accept that it's my birthday and uh, yeah Definitely. I mean, it's probably hard, you know, holding in all those emotions and, and keeping that all bottled in before the fight. But, hey, it's 430. It's your time now. You get to go and relax. Um, but with that, I heard you earlier say um, about a possible bout in October. But who would be next? And who's on your, like, hit list, so to speak? I wouldn't say I have a hit list or anything at the moment. <laughs> That'll come for sure. But um, I would still like... When I accepted this fight three weeks ago, I accepted against another top prospect, um, Justin Montalvo. I think he's a good striker and he's a good fighter. So I would still like that fight. Um, I don't know what happened to it and why it fell out, but it did. Um, if, if that's uh, doable, you know, if, if he was not able to fight because of his health, then that is what it is. But if not, then I guess uh, I'd ideally like to see that one. Next question, Dylan. What's up, Archie? Dylan Rush here. Congratulations on a great My performance. Birthday. My man, how you doing? I'm great, um, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Pleasure to be speaking to you right now after such a dominant performance. How much do you credit Justin Silas, Peter Straub, and Grant Neal for that incredible performance tonight? A lot. Yeah, um, you know, my, we'll start with my, my head coach, um, Justin. He's He's been there with me um, since the very beginning, you know, w without any money or anything involved with it or even a, a, a look into fighting he was just a guy who had been there and who has done it and has a lot of knowledge who wanted to teach a guy who just wanted to learn how to throw a punch and was a good wrestler that was it like not not even looking to fight and eventually um you know we this is our eighth fight together many more to come but yeah i i um i hold all of this to him you know he's the man and he knows that um, then Peter Straub, he came into my life about a year and a half ago, and he's been consistent and very valuable ever since then. Um, you know, when Justin's not able to be there, he's there. And, um, you know, he's able to meet up with me and understand sometimes, you know, as a new dad, why you miss practice sometimes, why you're late and stumbling. But at the same time, he's, he's a little hard-nosed and doesn't care that you're, that you're late, you know? He understands, but it's like, hey, when you're here, you get your shit down, you get going. And then my brother Grant, you know, he's been there also before either one of us started to fight. Um, but yeah, he's been a consistent person, um, training partner also, but just a consistent person in my life for the past uh, three years since I, I started this MMA journey. And staying on the topic of the truth, you've watched your boy Grant Neal experience great success under the Bellator banner. You're definitely starting to make a name for yourself within this promotion. So do you see yourself sticking with Bellator going forward? Yeah. Of course, uh, you know, we, we uh, Ali got the job done and we worked something out with Bellator, so we will have uh, some more fights here for sure. Hopefully one with my, with my boy Grant. 
<laughs> and then uh, you put on a striking clinic tonight. Your jab was on point and opened your opponent up for an array of uh, body stri strikes to the body, more specifically hooks to the body. Does it feel any better knowing that you're the first man to finish Nero, or do you not care about that type of stuff? Oh, was I? You were. Well, I, didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> I did not know that, honestly. I, I just peeped his record when they sent me him as an opponent, and I didn't really look too much. I was like, cool, let's do it. Um, actually, I didn't even get the chance to do it, but when I got the call, um, when I answered the phone from my manager, he was like, hey, I already called your manager, your, your, your head coach, and he said yes to it. I was like, all right, well, we're doing it. <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah, I didn't know I was the first guy to finish him. But no, I'm not surprised by it at all. Uh, I think that if I really wanted to, I could have took him down and finished him down there on the ground too and just brutally um, done it like I, I cut him open pretty good there in the third round from ground strikes. Um, could have done that earlier, but I was having fun on the feet, man. Last question, Kobe. IRG, great, great fight, another great finish. You came out really aggressive in the third round. Did you feel like he just couldn't hurt you at that point? Um, in a way, I mean, obviously, you know, okay, so like you guys brought it up earlier, training with guys like Justin Gaethje, he's one of the biggest things that sticks out to me um, that he told me is that whenever you're inside that cage, you're in danger. It, it, and when, as soon as you try to think that you're safe or you're not, or, or you're good to go, that's when people get caught, that's when people get in trouble. So no, I did not think that this guy couldn't hurt me. I knew that if I did not um, dot my I's and cross my T's, then I, I'm not, uh, I'm still susceptible to what happened to him, right? I'm not superhuman. But I also knew that I was on point and my, my feet were moving and they were always underneath me. I wasn't getting extended. Um, so that gave me the confidence to know that if my feet are, are able to move around, then my head will follow, um, and therefore, when I take shots, they won't be um, at the most powerful point where he's throwing, which leads him to some safety. And um, yeah, I just, I just knew that I wanted to get that finish, and my coaches knew that, you know, I, I could do it, and we, we, uh, we did it. Oh, fantastic fight, Archie! Looking forward to your next one. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Archie. Congratulations, happy birthday, and that concludes our time. Thank you very much, everybody. Happy birthday. <laughs> what type of tequila? Yeah.